So here we have ground beef, ground hamburger, and we have lean chuck, the fatness, the chuck, the lean chuck uh, uh, burger meat. I want to combine them together so that um, it'll take some of the fat off of the hamburger, but that's what I want to do. So when this, um, we love one is around here, so I don't know about nobody else, but this is our lean cook. So I'm putting chopped up green onion, because that's what I do. Don't ask me how many, I just put, sprinkle it up in there. And get some garlic. This is a teaspoon. You know what I mean? I like garlic. It's minced garlic, so I put two teaspoons in that. So here are my, I got garlic powder. Don't ask me how much. I just put it in there. I, I cook the taste, that's just me. I just cooked the taste. That was onion powder right there. And I, I was looking at my um, YouTubers. I love my YouTubers. I love Be Love. Um, I love, uh, who else is that? Get on the flavor train. And she has taught me about this spice right here. It's called Complete. So I decided to try it. And here lately I'm liking it uh, with the stuff that I get. So thank you, Mama. And just, you know, eyeball it a little bit there. And I'm gonna use breadcrumbs, regular breadcrumbs. I don't know. And how about eyeball it? I don't know. My good measurements and here's some Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I said it right, but whatever. Just you know. What can I say? Got a little pepper here. I don't put a lot in because I think enough seasoning is in this spice right here. And oh, I'm gonna get my eggs. So I'm gonna use two eggs. I'm gonna use two large eggs in there, okay? Just crack them. I feed my garbage stones too a lot. Just crack them, okay? You know a lot of people, they don't like to see your hands and things. So guess what? I'm gonna mix it, I'm gonna put gloves on just to satisfy people out there. But generally, for home cooking for me, I keep my hands clean and everything washed anyway. But for purpose of my onions, I will put my gloves on, just to be able to stir this and mix this with, with my hand, okay? Oh, and I did do some, some chicken for my husband. He wanted some wings in our little uh, our hot fryer, air fryer. So I'm gonna be doing those. And here's the wings over here. And until I get ready to cook them, the same ingredients. I have just garlic powder in here, onion powder. I have the complete seasoning. And I did just put a little bit of uh, uh, chicken milk in there. You can kind of tell me how I cook, but I know this is what I use. A little bit of chicken rub in there. And I just combine it all together. Yes, I wash down my chicken thoroughly and get all the hair and stuff off of it. Uh, I know some people say that you ain't supposed to wash your meat, but my mom always taught me to wash my meat. And over here we have the cabbage that we're gonna do later on. And I always put, I put, I put, uh, the green, the leeks in my cabbage. That's just me. And I use green onions again in my cabbage. And so we'll be using uh, some more ingredients in my bacon. After I get it going, I'll get my bacon first. I got a little bit of bacon grease. 
So just come on along. I'm all over the place. So this is how I mix it. And that's how we do that, okay? I'm gonna take the, is this bag? This is bag. Now let's gonna take it and put it in the freezer bag. And I'm gonna use this portion later on. Later on down the line. So, and I'm the type of person, I, I will cook up more as just me and my husband. So I already know. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna come over here and put this in my fryer. Let me get a back. But we're gonna cook these. Let me see if it's hot enough. Ooh, hear that sizzle? We're not gonna cook them all the way because the, uh, we're gonna cook them halfway. Okay? On both sides of them. Brown looks really good. I'm not gonna touch them for a minute. And I'm not gonna cook them all the way because you know, after I get the gravy and stuff going, it'll cook in the gravy afterwards. And we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sizzle for a little bit. Let, let it get brown on both sides. And I'm just gonna pop it up right here. And I have, I have it on, what is that, about three, 350? Yeah, about 350. I'm gonna cut it and clean it and I'm gonna do the, the leaves the same way. And I may not use all of the leaves, but anything I have left over, I always put it and I freeze it. So next time cooking around, I'm already prepared, you know, with a lot of stuff. So, I hate cutting cabbage because I hate these things. But anyway, we're gonna cut that off of there. I'm gonna put that aside. Got cabbage. Get that heart out of there. It's harder to cook with this heart in there. Okay. What about anybody else now? I'm gonna ask my husband. Do you want it cut small or do you want it cut in big pieces? However, he said it don't matter to him. So okay. Here we go. Just cut it. Because once it cooks down, it just cooks down anyway. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my kale up and then I can rinse it all together. Now leeks. Now leeks, I love them. Um, they're to me they're in the onion family, but it's just a it's just a, a taste that it gives that I just love. Um, I'm, as I get older, you know, I'm discovering new and different things to use in some of my recipes, and a lot of the recipes that I do cook is from my mom, Ethel. Give a shout out to my mom. Um, I, I used to love to sit up and just watch her, you know. I'm, like, I'm gonna dump it all in so that I can thoroughly clean it like I want to because of the stuff that's in there. Mm -hmm. And I love cooking, especially when I have to entertain. I love feeding people. That's what my mom used to do. She, you know, when we were little and stuff, and, and, and my aunt would come over with her family, and my daddy's uh, sister, and all of her kids, and nieces and nephews, and mama would throw this stuff together. And the house would just be smelling radiant with food. And I'm like, yes! Couldn't wait. And sometimes I would sneak in the kitchen and be tasting stuff before it got done, and she would always catch me, you know. I, I wanted to taste it. It was so good, I wanted to taste it. And so I was her little, I was her little taster. Sometimes it's the right time, sometimes it's the wrong time. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna put this up here. And let me check my book, my um, stove there. Oh, okay. Here we go. 
Look at that. I want to be like that on the top. They're kind of thick. Yes, they are. Oh, there we go. Okay, see there? Okay, let's move the cup. And you know what? And there's no, I don't know. I can't, I just cook. I just have that sense of knowing when to get to what I got to get to. A little bit. Can you hear a sizzle? Listen to that. Let me see. There we go. I'm gonna take this and take this out. Oh, see, because it's not done. I'm gonna leave it dripping. Not done. It's half. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I'm gonna put that over there. So now, what I'm gonna do is see the dust that's left in here. I'm going to leave that in there. And I cut up onions earlier. So see, I'm going to put the onions. I'm going to put the onions in there. And let them get a little, as they call it, a little glucose. I don't know if I'm using the right word. Whatever. Put this up a little bit. I want it because that, that, that'll give it a really good flavor. And now you can use beef broth, like you know, the yeah, because I'm using beef broth as my, you know, I'm gonna let these get a little crystallized. And I don't buy it, I have another, um, this is what I use. This is a broth based seasoning, but right here. It's a broth, broth base and it's beef. I also do one in chicken. So I'm gonna use this as my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make make it up from a little my dust. And again, let me see. Tell me that. I don't know. I'm gonna put water in here. And this is gonna be for my gravy, okay? So I'm gonna use the water, put warm water. Listen to that. I mean, onion smell delicious. I could eat the onion by itself, y'all. Mmm, mmm. Looky, looky, looky. All right. You know, I just thought I'd come on. My family's always told me, you need to share your recipe. Can you just, you know, I, I like to be behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Let me see. 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 Again, all I know is here go, here go a tablespoon. So this is how it looks though. Here, crunch it up. You see it? This is how it looks. Right here? Yeah, I see it. But this is how it looks. So I'm just taking and putting it in water. I don't know how much I'm using. I'm just using a ta uh, and I'll taste it to see if it's beefy or not. I just take it and I'm gonna stir mine around. This is cheaper for me than buying, you know, broth, packages of broth. It's just, it tastes just like broth, you know. So, okay. Let me see if I, I know I'm gonna have to add some more water because I'm gonna add flour too, you guys. So let me see if this is tasting at least more broth, the brothy part of the meat. Yep, there. Mm. As the kids say, mm, there it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna take some flour. And again, uh, here we go. That's for the chest. Another spoon. I'm gonna take a And this is flour. I'm not even gonna put it up like. Uh, 450, because I want my, I want my gravy to get hot. So I'm going to start off with maybe two, two tablespoons, okay? Just, you know, put it in there. And uh, let it get hot. 
and this one really hot. Um, cooking is, it can be simple, but it, I just think, you know, when you do your best at it, everybody don't, you know, and I have, I'm old, I'm old fashioned. I'm from the, the back of the school. I don't use a lot of box things. Um, I try to cook from scratch. Now here's the, the I'm gonna put this up a little bit more. Um, I try to cook from scratch. Um, I do, I mean, if you want box, I do box, but mainly my family gets from scratch. Very, very seldom I will use like anything from box. Um, this is so women, here we go. Get the raw potato in there. Here we go, I'm making a mess. Just a little mess, see that? Look at that. Mmm. It's gonna get thickened, it's gonna thicken up. See how it gets thick? Put some more in there. I'm gonna have to put some more water in there too. It's gonna make this a gravy. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna turn this up at 450. I'm gonna let that sizzle. I'm gonna use the rest of this and I'm gonna add some more water. Mm -hmm. Add some water. I'm gonna put a lot of them in here. Just them, like that. Just to decorate my, my gravy. Okay, so I'm coming back. Because again, this is what I do. You'll see me using a lot of onion powder. I just shake it. I just shake it. You'll see me using a lot of garlic powder. I love my onion and my garlic powder. Again, we get some good seasoning. Just you know, put it in there for its taste. And just season the meat. The season, you just wanna add just a little bit. And I, I don't know, I'm gonna get you a little bit of whiskey for sauce in there. Again, okay. Man, just gonna let this build up a bit. Now, I'm gonna add some red wine to it. Now, y'all. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. I just did three, right, y'all? We don't wanna overpower the gravy, but we wanna put a little kick in there. I don't know what type of smell is. Oh my goodness. Can you smell it? Let's see. And now I'm going to put the new one in here. If I have to make it thicker, I will. Right now. Come mm -hmm. on, baby. Oh, my God. See that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want all the juices, honey, all the juices. All the juices up in there. Yes, indeed. Okay. So there's the top, put the top back on it. And then I'm going to cut it down if you want to watch that. So I'm going to cut it down to. Whew. And we're going to add these. I'm gonna add um, bacon. Bacon to my pan. I get that going. I was trying to drain all of the water I could off of this, um, off of the um, the cabbage because cabbage can be real watery. There is some. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut up my bacon so it's easy to cook. That's what I'm gonna do. Just cut it in half. 
Put it in here. We're gonna get the bacon started up in here. And I also have, I saved my, um, but save your bacon grease. Don't throw your bacon grease out. Bacon grease can be used for many things sometimes. You know, especially if you, if you run out of bacon, save the bacon grease, put it, just put it in the freezer every time you use it. be able to get a little taste of the gravy. And I think you're just gonna let these just let these chill. And maybe you know less than what I said. I don't you know. And then come on, just look at that bacon. Look that bacon going. I'm gonna put a little bacon grease. And get another spoon. This is not something you have to do. You don't have to follow my recipes. I'm just sharing my sharing. I'm just sharing cooking with you. That's it. You know, this is what you know. I, got, I had a taste for what I had a taste for. My mom used to do that. We would have we wouldn't have certain meals. We just would have meals. If she had a certain taste, it could be a night where she wanted to just eat uh, breakfast food, and we did breakfast food. And then she she cooked. And it was great. At least I thought it was. Cause I thought everything my mother cooked. I mean, I, you know. And there are some things that I don't cook that my mother used to cook. And you know what, I love my mom because some people would say, well, you know, you eat what you, but my mom never forced us to eat things that we did not want to eat. But she wanted to see you eat. So my mom would make up a variety to make sure that everybody got a little taste of whatever. And it seems like, huh, y'all got y'all way, but she said when they were growing up, that was the same way with her dad. He didn't mind buying food because he loved to see them uh, eat. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, y'all so can see it. Okay. So I'm gonna add the cabbage. I'm not gonna add water or anything because the water that's in the cabbage, you know, it'll, it'll supply. It'll supply, and it's gonna keep a, a good eye on it, okay? okay. So this seems like a lot of cabbage for two people it is, but like I said again, I'm just gonna be taking it, freezing it, and we'll have it for like a day where I don't really wanna cook. And I can just say, well, okay, today I'm just gonna thaw this out and we'll have it. We'll have it for dinner. And the garlic seasoning. And again, and the onion seasoning. A powder, shall I say? Let me call it powder because that's what they are. A little bit of black pepper. And see how far they cook down? They cook down and you can see the water in them. The water is already, you know. So I didn't need to put water in this to make it any mushier. Um, cut this off. And I'm just going to cover it. And, I'm, and this water pan will hold the heat. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna slide it off and let the rest of the oven finish doing what it does for it. I'm back, guys. I'm cutting up the potatoes for my mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes. Um, got everything set up. Um, meat is simmering and so when it's over the kitchen, that's Okay. Yeah, I think, I think uh, out of everything that I do, I think uh, ministry, cooking, and, and being and being a homemaker, um, and family is the most important things that I need that, 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 that. The most important things to me that you know, that I like dealing with. Uh, I just love cooking for my family and watching them enjoy, you know, 
the fruits of it. So some people can't say that. Um, I know it's fast paced in life and stuff, but I'm slowing down as the years come and I'm, I'm blessed to be able to be able to do this. Like I said, I don't cook like this every day. Um, sometimes things happen physically where I can't and I don't worry about it anymore. But I do what I do when my body allows me to do it. And um, I enjoy it when I can do it. You know, um, like I said, finding new ways of using things that won't, uh, you know, affect certain things about me physically. I, I try to do that. Um, and, I, and I do get a joy out of it. Here I, I encourage, I always encourage my children to go forth. That's my thing as a mother, but tell you one of the most proudest affairs that I have in my life right now is real man get it done. And I'm shouting out because uh, that's a son. And I'm so proud of him that he's taking on what he's taking on. And I, you can go to his channel, it's, it's YouTube. It's called Real Man Get It Done. And see some of the things that he does, you know, as a man. And I'm most proud of him because, you know what? He got it, he got it from the best that I could give him. Him and his, me and his dad. And so I'm proud to see him using what he was taught to do, you know. He loves doing what he does. So, y'all go over on that channel. Real me get it done. And uh, check him out. You won't, you won't be disappointed. He's into everything, doing everything on there. You know, not to be boasting, but, you know, um, I think it's wonderful that, you know, sometimes men are taught to be, you know, they're taught to be, you know, like men, like rough, tough. And, and there's nothing wrong with a man knowing what to do. Things come up in life where you might have to take over. And I know there's many men out there that 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 do a great job. You know, my son just uh, taking the gifts that he's got and he's sharing it with everybody. So going on to that channel, check my son out. I'm, I'm very proud of him, and I'm proud of of anybody who will step up and and share part. You know what they do in life. All of these YouTubers, y'all. You know, don't put giving them a bad name. These are, they're doing what they're doing and I'm proud of all of them, you know. And there's many of them I haven't seen, but I just know from what I've seen, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. So thank you guys for sharing your time and sharing what you do, you know. It's caused me to get up and say, well, you know, it's not too late for me either. You know, if I could be encouragement to someone, that's what it's all about encouraging those who are around you. So that's what we're here to do for one another. Okay, so I'm gonna put my potatoes in, the water is boiling. Back, I've done my cleaning up, as you can see. I don't like a messy kitchen. We're gonna finish our potatoes off. This is about the ending of our, our uh, thing. So what, I got butter in here. I may have to put some more. Um, let me mush it first. I like to smash it. Smash it. Oh, I, love, I love smashing potatoes. Look at that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And I might leave some lumps in here. I know some people take and they they really whip them. They they use their uh, what do you call it? Your their mixers, hand mixers sometimes, and make them really whippy whippy. But I want mine. Oh, look at that. I still gotta do the pot. I want mine to be. You know, and a little bit of roughness to it. Okay, so I've got water in the bottom, and here's I put butter in. And here's go, here's go. Okay. Get them down there. Okay. I'm gonna have my heat up high just a little bit. So I like to start off with mine. Add some more milk if I have to. So I'm making an old-fashioned whip. Old fashioned mashing that's for old-fashioned. Oh, well, we'll get a little sloppy at times. Okay. So I'm gonna use until this to my advantage. My taters. Okay, so I'm gonna come on taters. Come on, taters. Oh, they're coming. 
And my husband usually likes a lump in here sometimes. And I should have used a bigger pot, but I didn't. I'm gonna have to forgive me for that one. Teaspoon, just about that much. Not that much. Put it off in there because I just want to have a more of a golfy taste in my Okay. Still got it on the low. I haven't put the salt in there yet, y'all. So just bear with me. Come on. Let you come out. Mmm. So like there's milk in the stuff is just boiling over there and put the rest of this milk in there. So it can become a little bit more creamier. Now we'll add some more butter. And my daughter, mmm, I guess it will. Yeah, these taste like oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have my my daughter, we, we tease her because it's like if she smell butter, it just does something, she says to her stomach. And so, a lot of times I have to be precautious of her, especially when it comes to butter. So, she's really not a, a mashed potato person, per se, like the other kids are. So sometimes I have to, you know, do a little moderation. Uh, to, to the food so that she's able to eat with us and nobody nobody even knows the difference. And here we go, I'm gonna get some more bud. I like a little bud in here. How about that much more? Put that soup down in there. I don't know why I walked away with that. A spoon. Taste. Now, some people may not like this this thick, but that's what we call our homemade potatoes. So I like them really. And if you want to, if you don't want them this thick, you know, and you run out of milk or whatever, add a little water to it. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. But these are my homemade potatoes. And let me taste it. Ooh, wee. Hmm. Let's put that a little bit for me. A little bit more salt. Cut them down a little bit. That should be enough right there. I should just have a, a, a bag full of forks or a cup full of forks or a spoon. You know, never double dip. That's that cool. Okay, there it go. And there you have it. I got my mashed potatoes, and I will, I will say that. Um, we'll just love them around here. You know, stay tuned. But yeah, let's see how this cabbage did. See, now it cooked on its own all by itself. Okay, so I'm gonna pop it right there. Oh, and we'll cut down our. Okay, I think that's how it's gonna go. We're gonna get this plated. And we're gonna have dinner. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time, stopping by Lynn's kitchen. Um, hope I'll see more of you. So you guys have a nice day and a blessed one, and we'll see you back here again, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.